Hello everyone and thanks for coming by to check out this tutorial. Now please check the description below for some uh, offers and uh, like sign up to our own mailing list for like a great things that we provide you with. Now in this tutorial we will see how we can use local storage with the Blazor server so we can uh, store data for our client on the browser now there are three or more different ways of storing data for our client now we can store them in a database if you check the playlist and check the video before you will see that we seen how we can connect to a database and uh, how we were able to store and retrieve data from database now uh, what i wanna uh, show you uh, as well we said that we can store it via database we can store it via URL and we can store it via uh, session storage or local storage now uh, if you want to store just some uh, let's say common information maybe about your user his authentication token and so on you can just uh, simply use the local storage or the URL storage now if you wanna store some other different information maybe his address and so on this like information that you frequently need to access you can use just the database and there are like uh, different responsibilities let's say or different uh, different scenarios for each method that you wanna use it's up to you to choose what you like and hopefully like you will be able to uh, store and retrieve data as you like now be careful what you store in the client side you don't want to just uh, create a cookie password here is cookies okay you can see the uh, the password for the user and you can take it and na 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 you want to make sure that it doesn't happen like this so please make sure that just like common information maybe his language his culture and so on don't get uh, too uh, much or store too much confidential information now let's go to our project now i will do the following i will go to manage new git packages and i'll look for this package Now there are some other different uh, libraries you can use, not necessarily Blazor, but I used this package before and it's stable enough, it's good, it's working and there are some other packages but like some of the Microsoft packages are still uh, pre-release and so on. This is a stable package. So we're gonna install this and then we're gonna see how we can uh, actually uh, have uh, the uh, Blazor uh, local storage configured inside our own uh, application. Now, after the package uh, finishes uh, installation, let's set I accept. Now, after the package finishes uh, installation, what we're gonna need, we need to configure it. Uh, inside our own application now we will head over to the startup and we're gonna go to the uh, configuration section and we're gonna call uh, uh, the following code we're gonna uh, add services dot add blazard local storage blazard local storage and we need to add the correct using so we have the uh, application configured from our own site now uh, we can also add some configuration uh, if we uh, need to uh, inside our own application or over here I can add uh, some options okay my keyboard is a little bit too slow sorry for that uh, 
Okay, so my keyboard is refusing to type correctly for some reason. Okay, so I can come over here and have the options typed for me. So guys, sorry I had to <laughs> to remove my mouse because it's causing some keyboard issues. So we're gonna uh, uh, like we can do some configuration over here for the application and so uh, and so on if you need to. Now in case you don't need to, you don't need to add it. So uh, here is what we need to do so we can have the uh, application configured and uh, save the uh, information inside our own uh, local storage inside the blazor app now how we can actually uh, do the saving now since we are using a blazor uh, server not web assembly we don't have access to asynchronous uh, asynchronous uh, pages now uh, I'll come down over here now we need to do the following or we can use the following now let me just uh, get you some code that we need so we can like uh, save the information now first thing first we need to create an injection of the blizzard service so we come down over here we will inject the local storage service so we have access to the local storage now also what we will do uh, we will uh, add uh, this method the on after render uh, so uh, so we can like uh, check the or let's say it, we can write the data after the component has been initialized now <coughs> sorry. Uh, remember that these are asynchronous methods because we are using a uh, blazor service uh, or server we are not using uh, what we call it a uh, blazor uh, web assembly now we're gonna come down over here and we're gonna call the set item method and as you can see it's a synchronous method i'm gonna call it uh, count and over here I'm gonna uh, add uh, the current count as my uh, storage now uh, I'll come down uh, over here and if I wanna uh, retrieve the data I can do the following I can call the local storage.get item and over here just uh, give it the key name of this item now uh, not necessarily to do it over here what I will do actually I'll make this the increment count an asynchronous method and I'm gonna add a task to it now uh, we will do the following uh, I'm gonna uh, initialize over here the current count to one okay I'm gonna uh, uh, set the item of the current count but uh, I'll do the following actually let's do something different I'll check if the current uh, over here 
let's do the following we're gonna get the value of the current count I'm gonna call it count I'm gonna call the local storage dot get item okay over here I'm gonna save and get the item okay so now we have the item uh, if the uh, why we have an error over here okay we need to specify the type now if uh, count uh, is it nullable I'm gonna add nullable check if the count okay uh, does not equal null uh, and count is greater than zero so uh, what we will do we will set the current count to count let's remove this because we have it on the set method so what we actually did we uh, saved over here the count value and uh, we will check if the count exists in the storage if it exists in the storage we will retrieve it and we will set it to the current count uh, value so let's run this uh, if we uh, continue in visual studio let me show you the debugger over here so what i'll do i'll continue okay so it doesn't uh, because it's async it's not like retrieving the uh, data uh, directly so now notice that we have the count which is stored for if I hit continue uh, it did not update the uh, the value let's check why let me refresh the page again so if I come down over here, if I step over it, the count is not null and the count is greater than zero. So it like it shall come over here and like update it. So if I continue, if we head over to the browser. Let me remove the breakpoint and head back to the browser. So like because uh, this is on after render event, it's not like uh, directly refreshing the data, although it should. Uh, we can do, I can do something like I'll remove the on after uh, render event and I'm gonna call on initialized int so like this way like you can uh, get to see the data so I did the following I changed uh, the method from first render to an initialized async and I'm using the same code so if I uh, switch with you to the browser over here oops let's head back uh, to the correct window so if we head over to the counter page notice that it's directly showing the increment value now if I increment it again I change 
the page notice still I can see my value saved even if I do a refresh like this oops okay so if I do like a refresh it show me that I have this uh, 8 value showing now the blazer sometimes is not friendly with asynchronous code so just be uh, careful with that so as you can see this is the way we can use uh, like uh, what we call it the local storage of the application now if I take you to the browser notice we can see our value over here even like you can test on it maybe you can change it and like head over to a different page and come back so as you can see it's very easy to add uh, the uh, uh, the local storage code to blazor very easy you just install the package and hopefully you will be able to manipulate the storage as you like so I hope that you find this tutorial useful. Please make sure you check the description below for the full playlist. Subscribe to our channel and uh, make sure uh, that you check the offers that we always provide. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another tutorial from the .NET Crash course.